Hey guys, so uh, I just thought of something because I'm so bad at finishing the videos I plan. I'm just gonna do something like completely improv, um, which means without a script. Oh my god, why is the chat server not working? Well, that sucks. <sighs> this is not what I thought of when I said improv. No, I don't want to see Pearl. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry for that. Um, realistically, I could just remake a video again, but... No, I'm not going to do that. So, um, yeah, I plan a shitload of videos for new players, but uh, there it's really hard to get footage for the things I'm trying to demonstrate, and I am just not really good at getting things done. I'm so good at making plans, though, I must say. So what I'm going to try to do here is teach you some of the helpful things that you could do with this forward slash command button it's the magical forward slash so um, let's say in a game someone's talking to you and I've mentioned this in another video before somebody's trying to talk to you and they're just being super annoying they're either saying that you're a horrible player which of course if you're new you're horrible you can just go you can just say to them yeah of course <laughs> of course I suck I am a noob you mad um, but if they're saying something really really annoying, just uh, type forward slash ignore, and then type add, and then another space, and then type their name, and they and then press enter, and they'll be ignored for life. Okay, so what some people do wrong is before they do this, they tell the person, they say, "You are ignored." No, don't fucking do that. Just, just don't let them know. They'll keep on talking to you for the whole game. They'll waste time. They'll be standing there and they'll get killed while they're trying to type to you something stupid. And they don't even realize that you're not ever going to respond again simply because you can't hear them. So, forward slash ignore space add space their name. And don't tell them when you're ignoring them. <laughs> Just enjoy the moment. And then if you really feel like being a prick, occasionally type because when you talk, they still hear you unless they ignored you too, which usually doesn't happen because if they're annoying, they're usually also too lame to ignore you. They want to know what you're saying about them. Yeah. Um what was I saying? So, um if you really feel like being a prick after you've ignored someone, also say, you know, I wonder what he's saying right now. Or like, is he still talking to the enemy? Things like that. Just to just to bug people, you know? Because, I mean, the, the worst thing they can do is counter-ignore you. So, both of you are deaf to each other. Yeah, ouch, that hurts. Um, what else could you do? Buddy, add, and the name, let, and then enter automatically adds you um, or requests a buddy add or a friend add to somebody so whichever name you want and if they reject you Han is a very honest uh, program it will let you know by the simple fact that you're never gonna get that friend on your list here it he or she is just never gonna appear um, and if you again to a game with someone that you never ever ever want to see again in your life like this person just sucks so much or they're just incompetent or they whine too much or they're just trying to feed which means dying to the enemy team so the enemy gets a easy win and easy win um, you want to type ban list add and just add that person and that means you'll never ever you shouldn't ever Again to the same game as them again. Things that people like. Oh yes, the guy in the room just reminded me. Um, on that account, so whoever you've ban listed only works for that single account. If you have different accounts, then you gotta ban list him on every single account. The likelihood that you actually meet that same person again is very low. But if that person is that bad, you wanna go ahead and do it. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, in the game, a lot of people like to do this, forward slash ping and enter. This only works in the game, I suppose. Let's try it here. Nope. Invalid command here. But when you do it in the game, forward slash ping and enter, it um, shows you your connection to the server. And people do this for fun. 
Some people actually do it because they know what the hell it means, but you can do it for fun, really. Um, forward slash weather, and you can do, you can type rain, snow, none, um, snowstorm was the last one, and it gives you these crazy weather effects in the game. And the only point of them is to distract you. Yeah, you get really distracted in the game. What else might you want to know? Those are really just the common ones that I ha uh, that I use in the game. Um, mm. I guess I'll just show you one last thing about how to how to ignore people in the game. So there's two ways you could be bugged by someone. There's them typing to you or typing to the enemy team, whatever they're typing. You can ignore them just by doing forward slash ignore add and their name, but sometimes that isn't enough. Oh. oh ha! Couldn't fucking click the cancel key in time. But um, there's also if they're talking with a microphone, that's kind of a harassment too, right? Because you might want to hear your other teammates, but you don't want to hear this guy. So uh, this is me. And uh, in the game, you'll have like something like this on the top left corner, and there's gonna be all your teammates. And this button right here, click it, so that it's red. Okay, because it's myself, I can't mute myself. But this little white chat button here in the game, if you click it and it turns red, it means you've muted the person's microphone. So if they're talking in a foreign language that you don't really understand and you don't think they're gonna be saying anything valuable anytime soon, go ahead and ooh, Viol is online. That is interesting. She's kind of cool. Um, don't laugh. Yeah, um, you can ignore people that are saying annoying things over the microphone in this. I'm just gonna pick random hero. Aluna. Let's get it on. Oh shit, that's loud. Hopefully you guys aren't being harassed by the same this volume. Familiar. Okay. Uh, I wish I had muted the interface. Okay, so while we're here, there's this thing that you can do. Um, control and F8. Control plus F8. And you can type bind and whatever key. Let's say I want to do 4. And then I can do team chat. And then I can type a message here. And when I press enter, do I actually want to do this? No. Let's do it on key zero because I don't care about key zero. Bind zero, team chat, message here. Okay, so I press enter and now I'm gonna come into just like the game itself and what I'm gonna do is click zero on my keyboard and that says right away whatever I typed before. Um, you can use this to bind whatever you want to say. <laughs> really. Just find whatever you want to say. But the common ones that you want to do, SS for miss, um, re perhaps, if you can't type fast enough for these, I don't bind these, not really. Um, I did bind this one, and the way you do the shiny effect is this raising sign, I don't know the name for it, don't, don't judge me, um, and then the colon sign which is the two dots and that gives you the shiny words like god and if you go um, that bump and W again it gives you back your normal or if you just really let's do that again shiny words and then bump W and that I am such a fail um, but <laughs> bump W gives you white bump R gives you red bump T gives you teal and you can keep on guessing guess what bump yellow is oh bump Y is that was a fail I am a fail yellow okay and you can also do numbers and that gives you random colors if you know the codes well that's hard to dis to see and yeah um, by the way pressing Z shows you Z shows you whatever's been said so far. So yeah, you can use that to bind whatever you want. Just be careful. You don't want to um, 
bind on things that already have current functions like the shop because you might not know how to get it back. Bind it on things that um, you want to go into your practice mode and press whichever button that you're hoping to bind a message to, like for example zero, and when you press zero make sure that it doesn't do anything to your character or it just doesn't do anything. Make sure nothing has been bound to the key first and then bind it. Message here. Okay, I think that's all that you should know about quick things that you can do during the interface. Um, let me sh let me show you actually. That's ping. <laughs> uh, in practice mode, your ping tends to be really low. Ha! <laughs> there needs to be a space between snow and storm. See how distracting that is? Like it looks like you're in a spa, but with white flecks coming down on you. And then you can get rain too. And the thing about this, you also get audio, and that is super distracting. So if you're feeling like just being distracted so you can laugh at yourself, go ahead, by all means. Um, I can't demonstrate any of the other things here, so I think that's pretty much it for um, useful things you can do with your forward slash magic. Forward slash magic, yeah. Forward slash clear is something that I use a lot. And that clears everything. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to contact me. And thank you for watching.